It is 9.30. It is the fourth day of January 2021. I am your grumpy guide to all things gaming, the OGGM. Lord, OGGM. It's the first Monday of the new year, so it's time for the gaming news. What is going on in our hobby this year as we start off to what will hopefully be slightly better than 2020, though based upon the Trump phone call and him trying to steal votes, not looking like it. All right, what's going on in the world of our hobby today? Okay, so Nightfall Games chose the quietest time of the year to release the quick starter for the Terminator RPG this Monday. So if you want the quick start for the Terminator RPG, it's over on Nightfall Games' website and, of course, on DriveThru. It's a 48-page starter, which is pretty decent for um, a uh, quick starter. It's based upon, it's a D10 dice pool system called the S5S system. It's a task resolution by rolling success dice, which you add relative skills and stuff like that. So, you know, sounds interesting. Um, it's interesting because, as we've commented before, Nightfall Games has the Terminator license now. Free League Publishing has the Aliens League license now. I'm not sure if there's a Predator license now or if somebody has that, but we do know that Aliens and Predator take place in the same universe, or at least one version of the universe. That's canon because of the movies, the books, and the comics, and the video games. And we know that at least one time there was a Terminator Predator and a Terminator Alien crossover, at least in the comics and the video game, which means that they all technically exist in the same universe. So are these games going to be interchangeable? I don't know. It'll be interesting to see. Um, so uh, EN Publishing has updated the state of their advanced five rule set level up. Uh, so it's obviously where they are in the progress of the their 5e advanced 5e rule set advanced 5e rule set is them taking the 5e D, D rules tearing them apart putting them back together getting them very close to what tasha has tried to be and what uh pathfinder second edition tried to be but both failed at and doing a much better you know way of addressing things like archetypes and heritages and stuff like that we have some news from Crucible 7 and the Warhammer Fantasy role-playing game. The Middenheim City of the White Wolf is up for, uh, adventure for uh, is available for pre-order. So if you are a fan of the world of Warhammer Fantasy role-playing game, Middenheim is sort of the central city of that world. It's got some really cool-looking European art. Um, so yeah, there we go. Uh, sad news on December 29th, uh, designer and author Jackie Casita passed away at the age of 72 from COVID. She was worked from the 1990s to the year 2000 in White Wolf Lines, Changeling the Dreaming, Mage the Assassin, and some Ravenloft stuff. Uh, so a GoFundMe has been set up on behalf of Cassandra's widow to assist with the medical bills and other expenses. Oh, there we go. Uh... Humble Bumble, hum, humble bundle for this week is the Pathfinder Monster Lore boy, Bundle, which features Pathfinder First Edition source books. Um, that charity goes to um, doesn't say. Oh, Comics Kids. We also have the Cyberpunk Bundle from Artisolian that's still available. That features the entire library of Cyberpunk twenty twenty rulebooks and source books. And all the game lore, plus a jumpstart kick for Cyberpunk Red, and of course Cyber Generation. So if you want to check out some of the stuff I wrote, play tested with Artisolian back at Further Cyberpunk 2020, that's available on Humble Bumble. And again, that supports Comic Kids. We've got the Map Extravaga Encore Bundle, which got, has campaign cartographer, city designer, and dungeon designer. That's all available on Humble Bumble right now. And all the benefits from that go to Save the Children and Game Changer. And we have the 3D printable miniature for board games and war games bundle up at Humble Bumble. It's got 30 uh, 3D printable open openware um, models, and that goes to benefit No Kid Hungry Connection and Extra Life. So if any of those sound like charities you want to support to get a whole bunch of PDFs, check them out. And that's about it 
for news, we do have the list of the 10 most anticipated role-playing games of 2021. Um, so at number 10, we have SLA Industries from Nightfall Games. It's an urban horror role-playing game. This will be the second printing of this. This is the 10th most anticipated role-playing game of 2020. Not Dungeons & Dragons. Uh, at 9th from Renegade Studios, we have Werewolf the Apocalypse 5th Edition. Hopefully... Renegade Studios will fix everything that Onyx Publishing did to ruin the world of darkness. So that's number nine. We have Barcelonia, the Spaghetti Fantasy from Archon Books. That's number eight. This is an all-Italian medieval roguish setting for the fifth edition of the most famous role-playing game of all. Well, it would have been a good game, but it's for fifth edition. Uh, spaghetti fantasy is a new fantasy genre. Imagine spaghetti western, but with swords instead of guns, based on Italian folklore, history, and pop culture. Great idea for a setting, but why make it fucking 5th edition? We have the Pathfinder for Savage Worlds coming out from Pinnacle. Show, this is all, what is this? This is all these Savage Worlds. I mean, all the Glorian stuff for Pathfinder converted to uh, Savage Worlds. So races... Uh, information in the world converted to Savage World. Now, the last thing that Savage World did with another company, Rift Savage World, tanked horribly. This probably won't go over well, because if I wanted to play Savage World Fantasy, I just want to play Savage World Fantasy. I wouldn't want to play Pathfinder Savage World Fantasy, so I don't see this doing well. But that's number seven for most anticipated game of the year. Number six is Rivers of London from KCM. It's based on the novels of Ben Aronovich and his customized version of basic role play systems. It follows a ordinary constable turned magician apprentice as you solve crimes across a magical London. So there we go. Number five is Level Up Advanced 5th Edition from Ian Publishing. Uh, it's a standalone advanced 5e backwards compatible tabletop RPG coming and coming coming in 2021. It's a crunchier, more flexible version of 5e rule set. So there you go. We've talked about that before. We have the sixth edition of King Arthur Pendragon, the Chivalry role-playing game from Chaosium. Um, so that is number four. That is the more, fourth most anticipated um, role-playing game. Number three, the One Ring from Free League. This is one I'm very excited about. The One Ring, Adventures of Middle-Earth, uh, and Moria the Long Dark of, will be... Um, converted to the free league world so i don't know if they're going to be using the year zero system or their own a different system but it's nice to see that a company will be picking up the lord of the rings the one ring role-playing game franchise because they're all i think there should always be a most anticipated role-playing game uh, that is lord of the rings uh number two is Dune Adventures in the Imperium from Mo Mofetus. What a great year this last year was, and what a great year this year is, is going to be from Mofetus. So this is the Dune Adventures in the Imperium. It's, it's the second most anticipated role-playing game. Um, it's probably going to be using the 2D20 Mofetus system. Very excited about that. And number one, this is a side. Surprise. I didn't think this would be number one. It's, off, it's, it's my most anticipated, or one of my most anticipated, but I didn't think it would be the most, but... Number one is Twilight 2000 from Free League. It is the number one most anticipated role-playing game of 2020. This is the original game set in the Poland devastated by the World War III that never happened. Uh, I don't know which system it's going to use. I'm hoping it's compatible with Mutant Year Zero. They said it was going to be. That would be exciting. So yeah, way to go, Free League for being the number one most anticipated and the number three most anticipated role-playing game. And technically the number two, because Mofetus produces through Free League. So Free League Publishing has the top three most anticipated role-playing game products coming out in 2021. You will notice that nowhere on that list is anything from Wizards of the Coast. Pathfinder has something that's anticipated, but Wizards of the Coast, not. <laughs> Maybe it's time to start thinking about uh, starting over from scratch. Anyways, I've been your grumpy guide to all things gaming with the gaming news. If you appreciate this content and want to see more, please consider subscribing and supporting me. 
It helps you know when the next OGGM adventure goes up, and it helps me know what you want to see from the OGGM adventures in 2021. I will talk to you New Year's babies later. Way to go, Free League.